Hello, and welcome back to Martha is Dead, this time for part three. Now, after taking that photo of this graveyard and developing it, I now know which grave to have a look at. And actually, if we go over here, we can see that I can now examine this one. So, let's have a little look. Let's see what we find. Maybe I should have brought a shovel with me. <laughs> or maybe I don't need one. What is that? A pendant? A necklace? If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. Right. With this object, she'll have to hear me. I have no doubt. Brilliant. Okay, so does that mean that that's just... the element that connects my world to that of the White Lady. Oh, the lake. Of course. The lake? Why didn't I think of it sooner? The dress that I threw in the bushes that cursed day. It's been sitting beside oh. the lake for a few days now. In a world that is both mine and hers. Right. Okay, so it sounds like we're going to the lake after all to get those clothes. Well, yeah, let's go this way. I think this is probably the fastest way down to the lake. Ah. Actually, I'm curious. Before we go to the lake, I'm just going to have a look at this area again, where I found Lapo's body. Oh, okay. Well, this is new. What's this? As revenge, the oppressed people grab the slaughterer by the throat. Adolf Hitler. The Italian Communist Party. Revenge for Lapo. Revenge for Lapo, right. No sign of a body. I guess he wasn't dragged into the lake like I saw in my dream, but... Right, the lake. Let's head down there. Well, here we are. This is pretty much where we started the game. This is where I saw the body in the water. I ran down here, running towards the dock. And as I recall, I tossed my clothes over to the right somewhere? About here. Ah! Here it is. I hope it works. Me too. Although, to be honest, I'm not really sure about this entire thing. Is it really the best course of action? Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Ah, right. So does that mean... Ah, yes, look at that. <laughs> We're using the boat. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, looking forward to this very much. Hopefully this doesn't turn into anything like Resident Evil 4. You know what I mean? No lake monsters in this game, hopefully. Just the white lady. Right, let's hope this works. Because I didn't see any oars. All right. All right, now how do you steer this thing? Oh boy. Okay, like this, apparently. Okay, off to the lake we go. It's a little bit noisy. <laughs> well, there you go, there's the island with that single tree. The tree that, according to the story, the white lady's lover was hanged from. Oh, I don't see the body, and I don't see a noose either. This little boat is Mary's husband, and I'm sure. He used to take me fishing at many years ago. I don't understand why Mother never wanted me and Martha to lose it. Ah, there we go. This, I think, is probably where we got off the boat. Okay, just gonna come in over here. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. All right, thankfully the game is helping me out a little bit so I don't crash. Yeah, okay, well now I'm here. I'm really not sure about this plan. Is this really the best course of action? I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Uh, so how does this work, exactly? Do I have to be at the shore? Do I have to be at the tree? Hmm. Well, let's go up to the tree, shall we? Yeah, I don't see any rope. What's this? This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Yeah. The legend that I think probably was more than a story at this point. Okay. Over here? Oh, yeah, over here. Right, so how's this gonna work exactly? Oh, wait, hang on. Is that some more film? Huh, was that stuck in the clothes? A roll of film? Yeah. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. Ah. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. 
I will then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? Hmm. I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. Okay, white lady first, and then we develop that film. That could be very, very important. Right, so we have to put this on. Okay. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Yeah, that'll probably do it. <laughs> uh, is that your hair? Oh, right. Okay, so I need to cut off a, a little bit, right? A lock of my hair. Okay. To enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. All right. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Should it? Okay. You're putting a lot of faith into these superstitions, but you know what? You're, you're probably right. Okay, so ten, yeah? So we got four to go. Hopefully we get a, a good ten. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to make the wrong choice. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's just these ten. Uh, there is something. Oh, oh yeah. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. Do I? You blend in with the water to make yourself known. Right. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. That's right. You use my pain to summon me. Yeah, sorry about you that. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. Oh. For answers I do not have. All right, pack up. Let's I go home. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. That doesn't sound promising. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Ah, oh, you're going to leave it up to me, are you? Wonderful. Okay, well, um, let's choose the two in the center. Yeah. The High Priestess. Yep, okay. And we're getting... what else? The Hierophant. The Daughter, the House, the Mother. The Daughter comes from the Mother's House, then makes herself a home and becomes a Mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the sun. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Okay. All right. Oh, hang on, are we... Oh, we're doing this again. Uh, what's it going to be? Another two? I thought that was going to be it, but um, let's choose these two. The Hanged Man. Oh, she's going to love that one. Maybe I should have shuffled these up a little bit more. Let's try this one. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. Hmm. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Oh, thanks. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. Okay, once again, thank you very much for that. I think we're going to go through all ten, so let's choose these two, shall we? Okay, that's the stars, followed by... what's this one over here? Death. Oh, fucking brilliant. I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. Hmm. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door. If you wish to reach the heart, your okay. twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. You think so? Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. 
Okay. All right. Um, well, it looks like we're going to do this twice more. Let's choose these two. Okay, so that's the moon. And that's going to be paired with the devil. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow. And without time, I am lost in the dark. Hmm. Well, I don't want to be lost in the dark myself. Okay, two more cards. The tower, right? And finally, in the top left, the chariot. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. Is there? The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. Hmm. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. Don't know if I like the sound of that. So, oh, that, ah. <laughs> oh! Did she just grab the necklace? Oh, damn, I shouldn't have let it dangled so low. I knew it wasn't going to be just a simple conversation. What? Okay. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome to the, the depths of the lake, I suppose. Let's have a little swim, shall we? Can I go back up? Uh, no, actually I can't. Right, well, hopefully we don't have to worry about breathing. Right, maybe I should be looking out for these bubbles. I really do like these more surreal sequences. I don't know if this is a dream, but I don't... I don't know. Am I imagining this? Is this actually happening? Do you think my superstitions are getting the better of me? Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've got like an old fighter here, an old plane. Looks like the pilot's gone. Oh boy. Welcome to the drop-off. Getting a little bit deeper here. Wait. Oh. Well, this is the island, isn't it? Oh, the whole thing's underwater. Man. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what's this? There is someone being hanged, but it's... It's not her lover. Okay. Let's take a closer look. Oh, a key! A key to what? <gasps> I, all right. Wait, I'm in the bath now? But I do have the key. What? What? Uh, what what's going on? Was any of that real? With the white lady confused me even more. But at least now I have Ooh. this key. Then I've got all the loading. Right, okay. Wh right, the key is for what, though? This isn't going to be for my room, presumably. Oh, hold on. The box. Yes. Yes. What is inside Martha's secret box? Surely this is the key. Okay, there's a letter. July 16th. That's the day Dear she died, sister, right? I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I'm no longer there with you. Ah. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. What? Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. Oh, wow. It worked. 
In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. Oh, so it was my fault. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. Oh, wow. So I must put it right. And that's why my Do mother I doesn't like me? The secrets? Unfortunately, yes. But a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. What? I have a hidden recording. What? Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Okay. Farewell, Martha. Okay, that's a lot Why to take in. This madness, Martha. What else have you been hiding from me? Well, you deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. Yeah. I can't wait to hear it now. Right. Okay, what about all that other stuff in the Oh. Oh, well, okay, well here we are in the dark room. Uh Right. Uh, down here? There is nothing here. Okay. Down here. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's put that on and let's listen, shall we? Is this her secret recording? Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but... This is me, and this is my voice. Wow. We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. Okay. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. By the 16th? I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. Right. And I never had the courage to tell you. I thought something I'm like that so was happening. I'm so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? I can now. That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Hmm. Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me. Like we used to when we were little girls. Oh. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Right. So this was all pretty meticulously planned out. Well, do I need to do that then? Do I need to put on one of Julia's dresses? I'm playing as Martha now, right? Wow, okay. I wrote a card to Mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me. And to come and see at the lake. Right, right. I left it on the desk in her room. And she was going to think that Martha was me. Yeah. Right. O okay, so, yeah, the, her room. Let's go next door and upstairs, I suppose. Is it going to be where I found this? In the drawer? Yeah, it's going to be up here, I think. Right. So she had this all planned out. Did she want to die? Did she suspect this was going to happen? There you go. There's mum and dad sleeping away. I guess it goes here. Then I felt the need to talk to you, and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. Right. Okay, so we're going down to the dark room, are we? She had a busy morning, didn't she? Bloody hell. I will go to the lake alone and act as you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. Right. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you, and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace, knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. Nice. Okay, and uh, here we are back at the tape recorder, so... Let's see. Hi, Julia. <laughs> and that's where it starts. I was upset. Unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Right. Well, no wonder. She's not there. Okay, so we're reliving the day as well, by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like I'm going to need to pick up my things. All right. 
Okay, so what else? Okay, uh, so, well, let's check the bed. Martha wasn't there, and we were supposed to go to the lake together. Right. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. Hmm. Right, uh, I suppose we want to get dressed ourselves. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Uh, yes. The clock. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, is there anything I else? I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself okay. without Martha. Alright, looks like we're getting out of here. No paper to read quite yet. And the key's in the door, so yeah, we can just leave. And out we go. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. Right. Okay, well, we need to head down to the lake. Oh, okay. My mother had killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. Right. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. Well, yeah. Uh, now she knows. Everyone knows, right? I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. Oh, what wow. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Right, yeah. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Okay. Okay. How are we going to do that? Maybe we should have a look at the box, because there was various other things there, right? The graveyard. Okay, maybe we're going to the graveyard. Uh, but right, yes, I, I really do want to develop that film, so I think we should head down to the dark room. Okay. Actually, before that, it looks like there's a few things to do in my bag. Yeah, so there's more to the diary, so let's start with that. 21st of July. Lapo is dead. They shot me in the back when I discovered his body. I thought I had hit rock bottom. These are soulless, empty days. After so many awful events, I finally managed to meet the White Lady. Or so I believe. The line between reality and dreams is becoming less and less clear to me. I thought a lot about her words, but they didn't shed any light on my assumptions. They kept ringing in my mind. Maybe I will understand when the time comes. Now I know for certain that it was Mummy who killed Martha, when she thought that she was me. Only a week ago, all of this would have seemed impossible. I just need to find the proof, so she can pay for what she has done. Okay, and I think the proof might be on that last roll of film. Okay, I don't really know how much this is going to help, but maybe we should do a little bit of divination with the cards. Let's shuffle a couple of times and let's try this. Okay, uh, so let's try the corners, shall we? The Fool, yeah. I mustn't care about what people think. The Fool, the Devil. All fear will prevent me from facing the music. Uh, and let's go for top right, yeah. The tower. It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. I bet it will. Oh! Okay, uh, yeah, let's choose another one. We're choosing four this time? Ah. Destiny is inevitable. The end waits for us. The Fool, the Devil, the Tower, and Death. Maybe not the best run of cards. <sighs> yeah, I probably should have kept those in the bag. <laughs> Box. Oh. Have a good day. Telegram in the letterbox. Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? Okay. Alright, well, do I need to read this anymore? I 
I'm not Martha, and everyone knows that, but nevertheless, let's have a look. Attack on Hitler. The New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli in the eastern sector of the battlefront. The troops of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Right, okay. Oh, there you go, that's checked that off the list. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I really like that you can keep up to date with the historical stuff. Um, ah, this is what he was talking about, right? Let's take a look. Dear Mrs. Hospital is psychiatric. A psychiatric call, hospital? We have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. Oh dear. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Oh, fuck. Or maybe even worse. She wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Wow. Okay, yeah, she's kind of... She's getting rid of me. I'm a thorn in her side, right? Trying to get this evidence. Okay, I... Oh, oh, she's down here? Oh, well, that's awkward. Go to the dark room now. <laughs> Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. Okay. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Right. Uh, I, yeah, could do. Look at all this stuff that we could do. There's that strange note. Yeah, okay, so go to the cemetery. I must check Martha's body at the cemetery. There's also the telephone. Look at all these numbers that I can call. Maybe I can call the asylum. Shall I try that? There's also 6934. Maybe I could call that. The film in the dress. I... Maybe there's a way to distract my mother away from that area so I can get into the dark room and actually get the evidence that I need. So hang on, if I was going to the cemetery, like, whereabouts is that precisely? Like, here? I mean, it's, it's not the place in the woods, is it? I'm curious about the phone. Can I use the phone? I can use the phone. Okay. What was the asylum's number? 07... 0782. Right, how's this gonna work? Okay. Eight. And a two. Right. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital, how may I help you? Um... Request information, right? Hello. We recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Right. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? Um... No. I, I, I'm gonna lie. No, I haven't received any telegram. Then you must hurry. If you go to the town hall and discuss the issue with them, they can approve the cancellation. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. C can I do that? Can I access the town hall in this game? Can I... Can I stop myself getting sent to an asylum? Oh god, maybe. Maybe. Right? Uh... Well, it looks like based on the map, we can go, we can sort of like leave this place, but maybe just to go there. I don't think we can access town, can we? I mean, I guess I could try. <laughs> Let's explore a little bit more, right? Ah, yes. It would be a little bit better if I found that pump. Then I could maybe use my bike. That would get me around the place a little quicker. Let's have a look for this pump. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Ah. Okay. Is that it? Is it on the back near the wheel? Ah, oh, I think I finally found it. It only took me like 10 minutes of running around. 
Here's the bicycle pump. <laughs> Silly me. I should have checked the other bikes first. Okay. Oh, that's more like it. So, yeah. Can we? <laughs> it looks like we can. Okay, so, what am I going to do? Am I going to the cemetery up the hill, or am I going to the town hall? I want to go to the town hall! And oh boy, this is actually working. <laughs> oh, this is great! Okay. I think this is the first day that this door's been opened, so right, um... I think the cemetery's up there, but hold on. Can I go this way? Can I go to the town? Is that the town up there? Let's see. I really don't want to get sent to a psychiatric hospital. To I go far away from here, I need to have a good reason. You've got a brilliant reason! Although, uh, I guess... Yeah, yeah, you're gonna seem crazy, aren't you? Nah, that's not gonna work. Shit. Unless I, I don't know, I'd have to impersonate my mother or something, wouldn't I? Okay, it looks like we might be able to go down to the, the field there. But right, the cemetery, that's where I really want to go. Arthur is in the family crypt. That place is scary. Right. I don't remember, but Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids. To see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Hmm. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. Okay. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, we're, we're loading something. Uh, right. I don't suppose we're gonna just ride in there, are we? So, get off. There we go. Right. Well, if I can't go to the town hall, I can at least go here. Can I just let myself in? Okay. Oh, what's that? There's something to my right. The crypt is here. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. Oh, there's that raven again. <laughs> is that the same one? Could be. Right, what we got here? Cutters. Not now. No? Not now? Mmm, but when? Maybe I need to find a good reason. Right, okay. Uh, family crypt. I guess one of these buildings, right? What we got here? A memorial? Hmm. Which grave are you perched on there? Oh, it's Lapo, isn't it? I should water the plants. No one will do it. The caretaker clearly doesn't care. Yeah. Where is the caretaker? Over here, maybe. Right, okay. Gloria F. Talanziano. Yeah, plenty of people buried up here. Ah, right. If I had to choose one of them, I'd probably choose the one with all the flowers outside, right? Oop, bloody hell. Yeah, and, and the one that seems to load as I get closer to it. Yes, it's this one. Family crypt is locked. Ah. The key must be in the caretaker's hut, as always. And where's the caretaker's hut, precisely? Outside? One of these? That one in the corner, maybe? That doesn't really look like a crypt. It doesn't really look like a hut, either. Ah, oh, hang on. This door is locked, ah. I must get in. Maybe I can find something around here to break the lock. Maybe you can. Yeah, maybe you can. Maybe now's the time I can pick that up. Hey, oh. Oh, there's the watering can. Okay, um, well, yeah, when in Rome, right? <laughs> or when in Tuscany. Okay. All right, well, hang on. Let's, let's get this filled up. And yeah, let's maybe water the plants. At the very least, Lapos. It's the least I can do, right? Now that I have filled the watering can, I can water the plants. But uh, while I'm here, surely I can pick these up now, yeah? Oh, no, really? Uh, oh, okay, I think maybe I need to finish off watering the plants now. 
There's actually quite a few around here, but okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Lapos over here, of course. There we go. Lapo, if you were in front of me, what would I say to you? That I'm angry because you were sleeping with Martha? Mm. No, I'm not angry. I'm sorry that you kept everything hidden from me. It stings a little, perhaps, but faced with your loss, everything is now meaningless. I'm happy that they buried you here. We'll be neighbours. I knew that Daddy would allow it even if you were fighting with the partisans. For him, this war is a stranger as it is for me. Goodbye, Lapo. We will meet again soon. Well, hopefully not too soon. It's time to look for Martha. Oh? Oh, okay, so it was just those flowers that we cared about. Right. Okay, so surely that means that now I can pick up those bolt cutters, right? Yes. Yes, okay. This is going to help us get into the caretaker's hut, which in turn, hopefully, is going to help us enter the crypt. The breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. Here we go, then. One little look around to make sure no one's watching me. All planes flying overhead. Alright. And we're in. <laughs> and we're not greeted with the caretaker looking very confused. What have we got down here? Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cosy with the dirty Germans. Mm. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore, but you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. Right. Yeah, he wasn't a fan. That's out the Germans, I think, right? Oh, hang on. A camera? Ooh. Well, that's a new skin. Oh, okay, just for a second, I thought that was going to be a new roll of film. Maybe some more evidence to uh, develop. Right, here's the key, right? This is going to get us into the crypt. Okay. Right, well, um, good luck, Alberto, I guess. I'm heading to see my sister. Okay. Now, I do have the right key, don't I? It seems like I do. Good stuff. Right. Down here, then. So far, so good. Doesn't seem too creepy. I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. Yes. Okay, and where is she, precisely? Ah. This way, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this... this is gonna be her. Right. Well, no one's around, so... Well, let's do this. Okay. Uh, just a, a little push. Uh, no? Okay. <laughs> let's try that again. Come on. A little bit. Oh, no. Uh, mm. Hey, sis. May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. Oh. Oh, we're getting that music. Just like it's a dream. Like, like the plucked strings are back. Oh, boy. What am I about to do exactly? Okay. Boy, I really do want answers, don't I? One final button, okay. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh dear. Uh, up and down. Oh, jeez. Is this in the PlayStation versions? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Okay. Um, yep. I I'm not much of a surgeon, but hey, this seems like a good time to learn. Oh, wow. You really have to drag your mouse a long, long way. You really have to commit to this. Oh, boy. Right. Okay, well, let's look. All right, we're just... We're just having a little feel around. We'll, uh, we'll see what we find. Have you found... Is that a fetus? I think that's a cord you're about to cut. What is that there? Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Looks like you're going to have twins. It was true. Martha was pregnant. Pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. Right. They always said that it ran in the family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? You, you, you decided to do what? Oh, great. Well, now that's that's my job, isn't it? Okay, well, let's let's get a good shot of this. Oh boy. Okay, use the camera. Do I have the right lens? Okay. Too distant. Okay, subjects now framed. Um, it's out of focus. Yeah, that's an issue. We want to make sure that everyone can see this. Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you, and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. Boy. I love you, Martha. That was dark. That was dark. The game isn't afraid to go to those dark places, though. I quite appreciate that. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, that... I suppose that was a success. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got the proof now. And how's this? Doctor, I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Don Atilio seems to not understand the situation. Irena, please. Consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree. But in Germany, there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Mm. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erich, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. Right. And then there she is, taking a seat outside the dark room. Right. <sighs> oh, hang on. Wait. Where am I now? Wait. Oh, wait. I'm in the basement? She's sleeping. I must take advantage of this. I will make her talk. She will reveal the truth out of fear. Right. She thinks I can be silenced by calling me crazy. But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Right. Everyone will know what you have done to your own daughter. Okay, so we're using the tape recorder, are we? Let's do it. Let's do it. You can see how this looks, though. I mean, this looks crazy. I just did something crazy. I'm covered in blood. I took a gun. This... 
This looks terrible for me. Right. Do I go out there or... No, I've got to develop this film, haven't I? I would make too much noise and wake her up. Ah, okay, okay, all right. We're going to have to deal with her first. Somehow. Uh, hmm. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. Someone's going to come in and see this, aren't they? Well, well, hang on. What are you doing, my daughter? What the fuck? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. W who it did it? It wasn't me. Who was that? It wasn't the general, maybe, but... Wait. What the fuck? Dear God, what have I done? She forced me. She killed Martha. Wait, so you did that? Who in the world will believe me now? They will take me to the mental asylum. Yeah. Those rolls of film are my only hope. Right, right. Okay. What the fuck? I thought that, yeah, maybe Eric realized what my mother had done and killed her himself. But I I think I actually did that and I kind of just like blacked out. What we got here? So that's who had the keys to my childhood bedroom. Oh, right. I could have guessed. Okay. All right, so... Do we go to the bedroom, or do we get bombed? We're getting bombed now. This is going from bad to fucking worse. My god. Sooner or later, more bombs will land here. Right. Then everything will come to an end. Okay, come on. Let's do this quick. I need to know. Damn, the power is out. Ah! It's impossible to develop that roll of film now. Oh my god, are you kidding? Okay, hang on. I, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna need my lighter then, aren't I? There it is. Can I not use it? No? Maybe I can't use it in the dark room. There we go. That's more like it. Fuck me. I didn't think it would escalate like that. And there's no one else around. It. I think it was me. Julia's room. Right. Let's try this again. Finally, I can enter my room. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is this going to be the, uh, the the puppet show from the demo? I was wondering what it's happened like to that. Being a child all over again. I used to play with the puppets by reenacting what was happening in my life to clear my mind. I want to do it again. Is this really At the, the time? Beginning of any puppet act, there was always the legend of the white lady. Right. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. Okay. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. This is it. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. This is what was in the demo. This is what I thought was actually replaced at the very beginning of the game, but no, it's just, uh... We just do this a little later on. Uh, look at the moon, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. My love is not here yet. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. Why am I doing this now? This does look insane, doesn't it? You're here at last. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you acting weird? Okay, now we can take control of the lover. And he can say... I know you kissed another. I know you kissed another. <laughs> okay. Her reply is... I would never do that. I love you. Okay. Only one option, and it's to kill. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. I gotta say, it's some pretty impressive puppeteering, especially considering what I just did. What did I do to you? 
And that's it. Show's over. I can just imagine my dad looking over my shoulder at me despair, playing with this. In man just horror. He had killed her out of jealousy. Right. Okay, yeah, the story's not over quite yet, and he hasn't been hanged, so... Uh, the priest... The priest is gonna give his last rites. <laughs> By mumbling in that way. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. Um, the executioner? You should probably get a little bit closer. <laughs> and of course, he's gonna execute. Right. But it's still not over, is it? They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman. Whenever events take her back to that sad day. And I think events are going to take her back to that sad day. And what do we have here? A young woman. Let's sing. <laughs> yeah, I've obviously practiced quite a lot at this, haven't I? <laughs> Even wiping her brow. Yeah. Okay. Let's move a little closer as the white lady. Hey! Let's grab that young woman. Sorry, I don't think I can. I've only got two hands. <laughs> oh. Now I can begin. Oh, this is new. First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before the cursed 16th of July. Okay. So, yeah, it's between Martha and Julia. So, let's see. Let's both meet in the middle, shall we? Um, so, Martha says they say the war will be over soon. Or of course, she doesn't say anything, does she? Because she she can't. Well, she can, but I don't know that at the time. Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? They'll take everything from us. Yeah. Uh, will we go to Germany? Will we become poor? Let's try number one. Will we go to Germany? I'm afraid we will. Right, um... Well, let's see. I suppose, yeah, the lake. Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Well, let's see. Uh, it, it seems that I can't reply. Oh, I see. Do I want to bathe or do I want to take some photos? I suppose I want to do both, but let's go with the photos. I want to take some photos. What if Mummy finds out? Yeah, well, you know she's going to find out. You made sure that she found out. Let's go at dawn, right. Let's go at dawn. Mummy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine. <laughs> Will you actually wake up at dawn? As it turns out, no, she didn't. Wake me up! Nah, she had other plans in mind. Did you see Lapo yesterday? She may have. Let's see. I could just lie and say no. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Shall we swap beds? Yeah. Yeah, that always seemed a little bit strange. But uh, yeah, I guess that's just one of those little things that they used to do together. Sure, yeah, that's a great idea. Sure, great idea. So, yeah, let's let's go to sleep. So I'm going to sleep in your bed, and, and you're going to sleep in mine, I suppose. 
Okay? And you two, go to sleep. <sighs> Julia, you are somewhat insane, but you are pretty good at puppeteering. I'll give you that. Right. Yes, it happened like this. Then in the morning, Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy. She knew Mother was going to follow her down. Right. Now I can only guess what happened when they met at the lake. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Martha and Irene. Right, uh, so what did happen? I suppose they approached each other at the very least. Uh, and Martha said something or, or, or took the knife. I, I suppose she'd probably start by speaking, right? Um, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Let's see. <laughs> she can straight away take a cane. Um, I want to see your shame. How dare you talk to me like that? That sounds more like her. How dare you talk to me like that? All right. I am just, you know, plucking at straws here, just guessing at this. Uh, just leave me alone. Leave me alone? You're just a poor old woman. Uh, this probably isn't how it happened, quite honestly. Uh, why would I undress? Did, I, I'm going to take the knife? I'm, I can take the knife. <laughs> okay. Um, is she going to speak? What are you going to do with that knife? What are you going to do with that knife? Well, let's see. I'm gonna kill you or use the knife. I, okay, I, I think I've made a few missteps. I don't think this is exactly how it happened. Uh, I don't want to use the knife. I'm going to kill you. You're insane. I, well, okay, maybe she should arm herself as well with a cane. Okay. Do you want to hurt me, mummy? Do you want to hurt me, mummy? Okay, I, I actually have no more options. I've got to use the knife. Uh, is this how it happened? Probably not, but that's that's what we're going with. <laughs> okay. And, of course, she's going to use the cane. And she's going to beat her to death. Dung. Dung. Yes, this version is credible. Is it, though? I suppose maybe we could replay the scene and maybe it'll be a little bit closer to the truth, but, you know, it's just a puppet show. Let's continue. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. That's me holding and the gun in the basement? Thing, I shot my mother. No, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. Right. And do you think this is going to help piece it together? <sighs> Holster the gun, I suppose, right? Okay. So what are we doing here? We're moving. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Break? Break. Ooh. What? We're, we're pulling... We're pulling the arm. The little arm. That didn't happen. Uh, okay. And the leg too? A small leg. What? And another little arm. This is getting to be a very, very dark puppet show, isn't it? We're taking the other leg too. Another small leg. Okay. And that's going in a... And a sack over there. Oh, the head? Okay. Oh, look. Only the head is left. Oh, not anymore. Right. I've, uh, I've just dismembered my mother. Right. Yeah, that's not how it happened. Uh, where's Julia? Oh, there she is. Right. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing here? Okay, we're doing something over here. We are, we are we're using the mop. We're going to take the mop. This is seven different shades of fucked up. Right. We're gonna clean up now. Alright. 
Oh, I, <laughs> I see. They flip over. It's quite clever, really. Okay, so we're just cleaning up the blood. We're getting rid of the evidence by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, what is this? Well, I think I've got a shovel now. Oh, hang on. Y yeah, use shovel. We're digging. Wait, so... Throw the cork... Right, right. This is what I'm planning to do, I think. Oh my god. Wait, what we got here? Take mother's head. Okay. I was under the bridge. Whoa! But, but it was just a game. What the fuck? This, however, is not a game. I was just playing. It's just a bad joke. Under the bridge. Under the bridge? The church. The town. Speak. What the fuck? The white lady. The head. Okay. What do I do with the head, precisely? I need to get rid of it. Look at the map. Okay. The bike? And the head? Oh, that's, that's the bridge that I crossed over to get to the cemetery. I... Right. I was just playing. You were not just playing. You were acting that out. But I think this is where I'm going to end part three of Martha is Dead, all right? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, leave this video a like. It helps me out a great deal. And I uh, hope to see you back in part four, where we're going to deal with this head situation that we now have. We'll see you then. No sign of a body. I guess he wasn't dragged into the lake like I saw in my dream, but yeah, looking forward to this very much. Hopefully this doesn't turn into anything like Resident Evil 4, you know what I mean? No lake monsters in this game, hopefully. It's a little bit noisy! <laughs> I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Yeah, that'll probably do it. <laughs> For answers I do not have. Alright, pack up, let's I go home. Only... The Hanged Man. Oh, she's gonna love that one. Maybe I should have shuffled these up a little bit more. Don't know if I like the sound of that. So, oh, uh, ah. <laughs> oh! Wait, I'm in the bath now? But I do have the key. What? I am not deaf, and I never was. What? The Fool, the Devil, the Tower, and Death. Maybe not the best run of cards. Oh, oh, she's down here? Oh, well, that's awkward. Go to the dark room now. <laughs> you see, this is the real reason why I got Martha is dead. For the pumping action. I really don't want to get sent to a psychiatric hospital. To I go far away from here, I need to have a good reason. You've got a brilliant reason! If I had to choose one of them, I'd probably choose the one with all the flowers outside, right? Oop, bloody hell. Yeah, and, and the one that seems to load as I get closer to it. We will meet again soon. Well, hopefully not too soon. Oh, we're getting that music, just like it's a dream. Like, like, the plucked strings are back. Oh, boy. You, you, you decided to do what? Oh, great. Well, now that's, that's my job, isn't it? Okay, well, let's, let's get a good shot of this. You can see how this looks, though. I mean, this looks crazy. I just did something crazy. I'm covered in blood. I took a gun. Well, well hang on. Do we go to the bedroom, or do we get bombed? I was under the bridge. Whoa! But but it was just a game. What the fuck? This, 